Hello, St. Stephen's. My name is Marty Adams, and I'm the senior warden of our church. In the Episcopal Church, the vestry is the lay governing body. At St. Stephen's, there are 12 vestry members. Four members rotate off each year, and four new members begin their terms. Although I have loved serving on the vestry, I will admit that I began my service reluctantly. I was concerned that I would not like attending monthly meetings. As it turns out, I do indeed enjoy our monthly meetings, and one of the reasons I enjoy being on the vestry is I like being in the know, and I like helping to make decisions for our church. Members of the vestry work alongside clergy and staff to make decisions regarding our church. Membership responsibility include attending monthly meetings and serving on committees which help the church to function optimally. When I joined the vestry, I felt a responsibility to get to know the members of our church better and also to reach out to visitors and new members. This turned out to be a joy for me rather than a task because I began to feel more strongly connected to our St. Stephen's community. Other benefits include, as I have mentioned above, being in the know and helping to make decisions. I think I've grown spiritually as well during my time on the vestry. I encourage you to consider vestry membership. If you have questions about serving in this important way, please feel free to contact me, Jeff Bird, our junior warden, any other vestry member, or any member of the clergy. Thank you for taking time to listen, and I look forward to seeing you at church. Bye-bye. Hello, St. Stephen's. My name is Jeff Bird, and I am currently junior warden for the vestry. I am in year two of a three-year term. The primary responsibilities of the junior warden are the buildings and grounds. Due to the construction projects currently underway at the church, the Building and Grounds Committee will be primarily operating within the Construction Committee over the next year. As a result, we will not be adding any new members to the Building and Grounds Committee for 2025. However, if you are one of those people that feel like the Building and Grounds Committee would be a great fit for you in the future, please reach out to me with any questions and I will do my best to answer them. Like Marty, I too have enjoyed my time on the vestry. I particularly enjoy dealing with all the various issues that come up at the church on a regular basis. Thanks for listening. Hello, my name is John Hodgson. And on behalf of my fellow committee members, uh, consisting of Marty Adams, David uh, Trecklenberg, and Julie Hussey, I would like to take a few minutes to share a bit with you about the adult faith formation ministry. As such, we are charged with assisting the uh, clergy and the vestry in identifying and or developing opportunities for the adult members of St. Stephen's to deepen their relationship with this mystery we call God through programs, speakers, and events. There is a saying, uh, you know, in the catechesis community that Jesus welcomed the children and taught the adults. And that in our Christian world, we have managed to do just the opposite, welcome the adults and teach the children. Uh, we at St. Stephen's believe that adult formation is a lifelong commitment and our charge reflects that. So in the process of adult faith formation, we build around three basic pillars. The first is that we grow in faith by listening to each other's faith experiences. Second, that no matter how good the quote presentation might be, Unless there is an opportunity for each of us to ask, how does this relate to me in my own life? What does this call to me? 
In other words, how are we called to change or be aware in this experience? Unless that happens, we are just taking in information. Good adult formation allows us to be touched both in our heads and our hearts to invite us to ongoing conversion. And finally, we want to create an environment where adults can articulate what they believe and make the connection between that belief and how they live their lives. Our committee uh, meets most frequently from late spring into the summer to develop these recommendations for faith formation programs for the upcoming year. We then can assist as requested in coordinating speakers uh, and facilitators for these programs and help with logistics uh, in planning these events. So if this sounds like something of interest to you, whether it's in the planning, facilitating a program or coordinating the event, um, please reach out to either myself or Amanda and we will be back in touch. Thank you. We hope by now you've seen our beautiful needlepoint annealers that grace our church. We have over 65 complete and another 35 to 40 in process. We are still looking to do a few more. We always welcome needlepointers of all abilities to join us and we are happy to help you start a kneeler, complete a kneeler, or just learn how to needlepoint. We meet the second Tuesday of every month from 3 to 6 p.m. in the parlor at St. James Church on James Island. We meet the fourth Wednesday of every month from 3 to 6 p.m. at my home, downtown Charleston, 10 South Adger's Wharf. We are also looking if there's any talented woodworkers out there who might be able to help us create a few more kneelers because we need a few replaced and we'd like to have a few extra on hand. If you're interested in any of these, please contact me and I'll be happy to get you involved. It's a beautiful ministry and one we all feel very, very blessed to do. In addition, we will be dedicating our kneelers the ones we have now at the 11 o'clock service on Sunday, October 27th. And we would love for you to be there as well. Thank you so much. Good day. My name is John Hodgson, and I would like to take a few minutes to talk to you about the Ministry of Spiritual Direction. Uh, first, a little bit about me. I am and have been a spiritual director for about 20 years now. My training was a part of a five-year program with emphasis on Ignatian spirituality. In addition to journeying with others in spiritual direction, uh, I also supervise other directors and am trained in giving the Ignatian exercises. Well, perhaps I should begin by telling you uh, how I describe spiritual direction. Because God is present and active in every moment of our lives, spiritual direction is the journeying with another as they seek to deepen their awareness of and relish in the experience of God in their lives and choose how to respond. I personally prefer the word journaling, I'm sorry, journeying, as opposed to direction. Uh, because our role of directors is not to tell our directees what to do. Rather, we are trained to help others see God's movement in their lives, and through that deepening awareness, fall more in love with this mystery we call God. Meetings typically occur monthly, and we meet either in person or uh, by Zoom. Uh, our in-person meetings currently are happening at St. James um, because of the construction going on. In those meetings, we may, yes, talk about prayer and types of prayer. But since God is in everything, 
we may talk more about what is going on in one's life and where God is in the midst of it. Meister Eckhart once said, God is at home. It is we that are out for a walk. I like that expression. And so spiritual direction provides that opportunity for us to come in from our walks and to pay attention to what God is up to in our lives and how we wish to respond. I think another important aspect of spiritual direction is that it's both non-judgmental and confidential. The director is bound by confidentiality. You, of course, can discuss anything you want with anyone about any session. So if this is something you might wish to explore, I would be happy to sit down with you and discuss spiritual direction further. Thank you and have a blessed day.